Hey, welcome to NitroRCX.com. Today we're going to be looking at fine tuning your nitro engine. We have a pretty good break-in video that details the high speed needle, the low speed needle, what's lean, what's rich. We'll touch up a little bit on that just to refresh your memory, but this video is going to be all about fine tuning your engine for performance. Uh, we're going to talk about understanding the carburetor just a little bit. We're going to talk about the concept of rich and lean. A lot, a lot of people, they struggle with tuning the engine and basically you just have to understand the concept of if you're running too rich or too lean and compensate for that because your tune is always changing. Unlike an electric vehicle where you just charge a battery, throw it in and run it, the nitro engine always requires fine tuning from the driver for any type of condition, whether you're the altitude changes or the biggest factor, temperature changes. Um, and also when you upgrade your engine, say you get a tuned pipe, or you get an air filter that flows better, flows more air, you're going to want to tune the engine accordingly so that you can benefit from those parts and so your engine runs better. Alright guys, so we're looking at a 0.21 nitro engine. This is the engine commonly found on 1A scale vehicles. It's also the engine that's on the Team Energy buggy that we're going to be tuning today. Uh, we're going to take a look at the high speed noodle, which is this one right here. Notice the little uh, valve or nipple here. Basically the fuel line comes from the fuel tank into this high speed needle and this regulates the most fuel going into that carburetor. So you want to always be adjusting the high speed needle first and then fine tuning the low speed needle which is on this sliding type carburetor down here. Now let's take a look at that needle. When you adjust this needle notice how it tapers. Basically when you're screwing it in or out you're adjusting that taper. You're limiting fuel flow or your increasing fuel flow by using that taper to regulate fuel. Now when you turn it clockwise, when you turn it down, you're basically leaning the mixture which is giving the carburetor less fuel. Now if you turn it backwards, turn it out, which is left, counterclockwise, you're backing that out, you're giving, you're giving it more of an opening and you're giving it more fuel, which means we're giving, we're richening the mixture. So rich always means more fuel, lean always means less fuel. Now basically what we're doing when we're tuning is we're trying to achieve the ideal mixture for temperatures and ambient pressure for conditions at that time. So your tune is always going to change. Now when you look at the low speed needle, it's the same thing. It has a taper on the screw like the high speed needle and that adjusts the taper on the low speed. When you're moving, when you're throttling, your carburetor slider is coming in and out. It's opening that gap. It's letting fuel in and your low speed needle basically tunes from idle to mid-range RPM. Your high speed needle tunes from mid-range to high RPM. Now people wonder what does the idle screw do? The idle screw actually doesn't change the idle. It just limits how much gap you'll have on this carburetor. So if you turn it in, you'll have more gap. And if you back it out, you'll close this gap. We always recommend a one millimeter starting gap and tuning for that gap. Now, some people say, hey, my engine, once I start it, uh, the wheels keep turning and it wants to run away. Well, that's because your carburetor gap isn't tuned properly. You always want to start with a good baseline setting before you start fine tuning your motor, which is usually the factory setting. Now, that's the, one, that's the point .21 motor, the point .18 motor, same concept, you have the idle screw here that limits the carb opening gap. This is a rotating carb instead of the sliding carb like that 0.21 over there. Your high speed needle also has that taper. And it's the same concept, right, which is tightening the screw, is leaning, and when you back it out counterclockwise, that is richening for more fuel. You also have a low speed needle down here which regulates the car, which regulates the needle for the low speed. So as mentioned before, when you're tuning, you want to start with the high speed needle first, which is these ones up here. That tunes the most, that regulates the most fuel going to the carb. Once you get that high speed needle set, then you want to fine tune with the low speed needle. Now when you start messing with the low speed, you'll find most of the time you're going to have to also mess with the idle gap to compensate since they are directly linked to each other. That needle, the low speed needle, is directly linked to the carburetor rotator or the slider and you're going to have to adjust the low speed and the idle to get that perfect idle. Basically these needles, the high speed, the low speed, the carb opening, is trying to achieve the optimum fuel and air mixture 
for conditions at that time. Hopefully you guys have a better understanding of tuning the high speed and low speed needle. Let's talk about the concept of rich and lean and we're gonna start tuning the engine. So moving off that concept of the ideal mixture of air and fuel. Basically, you want this engine to run on the ideal mixture of fuel and air so that it gets the most performance. Now, if you run leaner, which, which gives you more power, however, your engine temperatures go higher and you reach a certain engine temperature where it's too hot and you start damaging the motor or shortening the lifespan. <clears throat> we do have the temperature range in the break-in video, refer to that. And you want to definitely stay within that range so you don't damage your motor. Ambient temperature, atmospheric pressure. So let's talk about ambient temperature. Today, it's, it's always good to have a temperature gun ready. Um, today, it's about 95 degrees in, in this room right here. And outside, when we're going to be running later, uh, it's, it's about 104 degrees outside. So we're going to have to tune for that temperature. The last time this vehicle was tuned, it was much cooler and the tune is definitely going to change. Ambient temperature plays a big role on your tune, so you always want to note, whenever you run the vehicle, note the temperature and tune accordingly. Atmospheric pressure, the altitude, how high you are. Um, if you're 3,000 feet above sea level, if you're up in the Rockies in Colorado, um, your tune is going to change because when you're up at higher altitude, uh, you have lower air pressure, there's less air, you're going to have to compensate for that by richening the mixture or leaning the mixture. Um, we mentioned that the tune changes when you change the exhaust pipe, change to a higher flowing air filter, but the tune also changes if you're using different fuel. We're using 20% nitro fuel with a 20% uh, percent oil content and we're using an R3 glow plug. Now if you change the glow plug to a hotter glow plug uh, or a colder glow plug your tune definitely will be affected as well. So it's always good to keep in mind which components you're using so that you can tune accordingly. So before we fine tune I'm going to already assume you guys went through the break-in video your carburetor is all set up the carb gap is set up you have a factory base tune. Um, that is very important. You want to have a good factory base tune for you to fine tune for performance. So I'm going to turn the vehicle on. This has already had a base tune for it. Basically we're going to be fine tuning it for today's temperatures. It's really hot today so the tune is going to change. Um, it's probably going to run super lean right now because it's so hot. I'm probably going to have to richen the mixtures. Um, but this one's all set. I'm just double checking. I pulled the air filter off. I'm double checking the gap. Um, I'm double checking my throttle linkage, making sure that's all set properly. Nothing's loose. It's holding my idle at the right position. I'm going to start the engine, let it idle, making sure it gets up to operating temperature. As we mentioned in the break-in video, you always want this at operating temperature before you make any fine-tune changes. So install the cold plug igniter. Make sure you prime it to get fuel going to the carb. And let's give it a give it a start. I'm gonna talk, right? Okay. Now notice guys, I stopped so you guys can hear me better, but notice that it has a pretty decent idle right now. But that's gonna change once this engine heats up. Uh, once it heats up, uh, I'm thinking it's going to run leaner just based on experience because it's super hot right now. Uh, but you want to make sure the engine's heated up so that uh, we can make our fine tuning. Now what we want to do right now is what we're looking for is we're listening to sound and we're listening and we're watching for smoke coming out of the exhaust pipes. So let's go ahead and get this engine up to operating temperature. Notice guys, as the engine gets hotter, um, you notice the sound starting to change. The, pop, the Each individual pops, pop, 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 it starts increasing, which means it's, it's getting hotter and it's burning that fuel a little faster. And pretty soon when it gets too hot, it'll get to that, it'll pass that threshold where you start pinging, pop, 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 pop. Um, and that's when you want to kind of richen it to get it to settle down. Okay guys, so we had it warmed up 
inside, we're outside now, we're gonna tune for high speed. Basically what we're doing is we're listening and we're looking at the smoke coming out of the exhaust. Earlier it was at 160 degrees, so the engine's still a little bit cold now. We're gonna get it up to operating temperature and we're gonna do a couple high speed passes to tune for the high speed. Notice at my high speed, I do see smoke coming out of the exhaust, which is good. Let's go for a longer high speed pass. I'm not sure if you guys caught that, but did you guys hear the pinging? You'll notice that at high speed, you'll hear the pinging, what? Du -du 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 and then it died down. That means at high speed, since the engine is hot now, it's getting lean, so we wanna introduce more fuel. Also notice, during those high speed passes, I'm getting less and less smoke. That means the engine's getting a lot hotter to operating temperature, and I need to introduce more fuel. Let's listen to it again. High speed. Right there. And you hear the pinging and then it dies down. That means it's, it's starving for fuel. So we're gonna richen it and eliminate that. So to get rid of that pinging, we're gonna richen the fuel mixture. Remember what we mentioned earlier, by one hour increments, I gave it a two hour change. I gave it a two hour counterclockwise change to make it richer. So we're gonna go for another high speed pass and see if that pinging disappears. Notice a lot more smoke coming out now for the high speed pass. We have less pinging. We still have a little bit of pinging because it's getting too hot. So I'm gonna introduce a little bit more fuel. I gave it about three hours counterclockwise. Let's do, do another pass. I'm gonna give it more fuel. It's running hot. All right, giving it more fuel. She's running hot. All right, much better. I don't have the pinging for a prolonged period of time. Lots of smoke coming out. All right, so we're on a bigger stretch of road now just to listen for that high pitched tone to see our high speed setting. Notice the blue smoke coming out constantly, which means the engine is being nicely lubricated, coming back. Notice the trail of blue smoke. No pinging after that long pass. And right now is a good time to take the temperature.
That's it. That's it. Two twenty. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's good. It's too rich. It cooled down. <clears throat> Okay, that was the high speed tuning. Let's get to the low speed tuning. Uh, the low speed was actually pretty good, but we're just gonna kind of mess it up and show you guys what to look for and how to dial it back and let you identify uh, a too rich low speed needle setting and a too lean low speed needle setting. Uh, so let's go ahead and most of the times if it's way off, it's not even gonna start. Engine's still hot. Now remember guys, low speed is from idle to mid-range RPM. So that's idle to mid-range, not high speed. That's, that's a low speed setting. Low speed. Now there's two ways to tune low speed. Some people do the pinch method, where they pinch the fuel line and they wait three or four seconds. If it dies before three or four seconds, uh, if it stalls before three or four seconds, you want to richen it, give it more fuel. And if it stalls later than three or four seconds after pinching the line, um, you want to lean it. So let, let's just run through that uh, method first. I'm going to pinch the fuel line. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. All right, so it it stalled pretty fast, so we want to richen it. Remember guys, the low speed needle on this sliding carb is on the side right here, so I turned it counterclockwise, two hours. I'm turning the, usually you want to do this with the vehicle on, but I'm turning it off so you guys can hear me better. I'm gonna pinch the fuel line. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four. Okay, about three to four seconds, my low speed is set pretty good right now. Um, if it takes longer, if you pinch it and it takes longer um, to cut out, that means you wanna lean the mixture, and that's one way to tune uh, the low speed needle. Um, it works, but I like to do it actually physically driving it and feeling the acceleration, uh, <clears throat> and that's the way I like to tune it. So let's go ahead and tune it that way. So this way is listening to the acceleration and visually looking at the smoke and listening, using your ear to hear what the engine is liking or disliking. So let's try it. I'm doing throttle blitz. Remember guys, this is unloaded with the vehicle off the ground and that will change slightly once the vehicle is on the ground. Okay guys, so we're going to tune the low speed now. Uh, high speed's tuned very well. The low speed's actually tuned pretty well right now. Uh, but we're just going to show you guys um, what to listen for, what to look for, smoke, what to listen for, what to feel for, the acceleration. And then we're going to mess up the low speed tune so you guys can identify what's wrong. Is it running too lean or too rich? So let's go ahead and start it up and look at the slow speed tune. Engine's a little cold right now. Let me warm it up. All right, so remember guys, low speed is from idle to mid RPM. So I'm gonna flip the throttle. Listen for that. Listen to the engine and also watch the exhaust pipe. So I'm gonna flip it. Decent acceleration. Watch the exhaust pipe, smoke coming out. It's a little rich right now. If I lean the low speed a little, I'll have better acceleration. So I'll give you guys an example. Let's lean the low speed and check out what it does to the acceleration. I'm turning the low speed clockwise by leaning it. I, 
right, I'm gonna lean that low speed even more. Clockwise. Notice my idle RPMs are climbing. Now it's spinning the wheels on acceleration. So uh, this is a better, better low speed tune. Let's keep going leaner until we reach that threshold where it's too lean. My low speed is too lean. I'm gonna richen it and bring it back down. All right, now notice that the idle died down. My low speed is a little better. All right, just to give you guys that example again, I'm gonna lean it out and listen to that engine, listen to that engine uh, start pinging. Right now, it's, it's All right, I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna lean out the low speed and listen to the engine. You definitely don't want that. So let's dial that back down and get a good low speed mixture. Okay. Okay, now let's let's go to the other end of that spectrum on the low speed and richen it. Let's let's make it too rich so you guys can identify what to hear when it's too rich on the low speed. Listen to the engine, very low kind of labored idle. Listen, look at the acceleration. Very slow acceleration, lots of blue smoke. All right, let's go even richer. It'll probably even cut out. Listen to that engine, totally different sound. Let's richen it some more. Listen to that. Very rich setting, lots of smoke, and pretty much no acceleration. I can't even get the wheels, I can't, I can't even do donuts anymore. This is my low speed blips, notice. Too rich. So let's bring it back to the optimum low speed. I'm flipping the throttle just to test my low speed. Get some more. Uh, get it to lean it some more. Okay. I'm going to just lean it maybe another hour or two. Notice the engine RPM raised a little bit, but it's not creeping forward. Okay, I can spin the wheels. Engine climbs a bit, dies down. And I'm happy with that low speed too. Okay guys, so that was the low speed. We showed you guys what to look for when it's too lean. Remember guys, it pings, blah, 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 blah. It's too, uh, too lean, you wanna richen it. And we showed you guys when it's too rich, uh, poor acceleration, um, lots of smoke coming out, remember visually. 
and um, listen to the engine. For the low speed, we showed you guys the high speed, how to tune for high speed, watch the motor temperatures. You definitely don't want to go past that uh, 280 mark or else you can start damaging the motor or shorten the lifespan. And that is our fine tuning video. This buggy's running pretty good, it's spinning the tires. It can do donuts on the spot. I like how it handles. Um, if you guys have questions, be sure to leave them below. Uh, if you guys have any other tuning tips that you guys would like to add, I'd like to hear them. Be sure to stay tuned for all our other awesome videos at nitrorcx.com. We'll catch you guys next time. NitroRCX.com. Extreme has no limits.